All right, so I'm here to talk about the live stream that uh, Bandai Namco did yesterday. And, hmm, let me just go ahead and give you the notes. First of all, they did, sh uh, they did show off the Saiyan Space Pod, and it was garbage. I have to say it was garbage. Visually, it was fine. But if you thought you were going to be flying through the air with this thing, no. It's basically like two inches off of the ground. Uh, not, I mean, I can't say they advertised it wrong because they didn't say you could fly through the sky with, with Saiyan Space Pod. But you're two inches off the ground. So if you were into the DLC for that reason, uh, calm yourself down and, and, and take a chill pill. <laughs> um, let's see. Champa and Vados themselves. First, I'm going to go over the voices. Now, considering that Champa is supposed to be a comedic character, like, yeah, he's a guy of destruction, but he's supposed to be a comedic relief character. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, both of the characters sound like garbage, but they sounded okay for how... For the role that they were supposed to be in like Chompa sounded fine he's a whiny character and he sounds whiny and uh, yeah, I mean he's okay his voice is okay it's not anything spectacular like Beerus or Whis but it's fine Vados really sounds like a generic anime female character like she has no personality like when they revealed the voices for Tsunade and Mei like you know this uh the Mizu and, and the Hokage they had character. Vados has no character. She just sounds like the generic female anime character. As for the way that they played, if you've seen the if you've seen the footage, if you've seen the trailer footage, you didn't miss out on anything. They played just like they <laughs> like you saw them in the trailer, and that's it. So what you see is what you get. There's no unique surprising strings about them. If you didn't see them in the trailer, but you, you, you're not missing anything. The move sets pretty much suck. Like you got Guy of Destruction's Roar, which is basically Angry Shout 2.0, and it's like a worse version of Angry Shout because when you use it, uh, it's like a a exhausted animation where you can't move, and I'm assuming that you can't uh, do anything out of it, so you're a sitting duck. It didn't seem like it did any damage, so I don't even know. I hope that move isn't even available for CAC because it's really worthless. Uh, Chompa's ultimate, it does no better than Spirit Ball. Like I, I'm going to say it's a little bit better than uh, Spirit Ball because it starts up quicker, but the damage and the tracking, people are going to be able to snap vanish all around that. Uh, Vados' ultimate is like gigantic meteor 2.0 like you your opponent has to be stamina broken they have to be steel it's basically like the ultimate version of death psycho bomb you can't move your opponent cannot move um they have to be stamina broken and that's the only way it's gonna hit them so she's gonna be useless online like she has one ultimate and, and the same escape move is is uh, Whis. The outfits, like they have Super Android 13's pants, but that's about it. So I guess they have the pants, the boots, and the gloves. Other than that, uh, Android 14's, you know, garments are in the game. I mean, this was really underwhelming. Like I went in with my expectations low on this stream, and I'm still kind of disappointed in what I saw. So, I mean, that's DLC Pack Two for you. That that's it in a nutshell. So, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and also turn on notifications so that you do know when I go live. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter as well. You get all those updates. And if you're a true perfectionist, share this video on the social medias and whatnot and i will see you in the next video all right so there was actually a part that i missed talking about which was the story mode and parallel quest uh, missions which to me they look like garbage and the reason i say they look like garbage is because they like put no thought into them like the parallel quest is basically the story mode quest and vice versa the only difference being is that uh, the Supreme Kai of Time in the story mode sends you there to compete for 
some odd reason so I, I, I can see them trying to make you play the story mode quest to unlock the characters which you know whatever I mean and I mean another thing that I noticed in this uh, live stream that I didn't talk about is like they were baiting hard for people to actually ask questions about the DLC so it, it did come off as kind of desperate to me but that's all I wanted to talk about guys that's the part that I missed again go ahead subscribe turn on notifications and share the video with your friends and spread perfection to the world <laughs>